If there's one thing I don't do, it's toxic positivity. But what you're saying is valid, and a lot of people experience this, feeling like they're gaslighting themselves. But if you feel like you're gaslighting yourself, that means there's probably some level of denial. And that denial is probably denying how you feel. Acceptance is the true gateway to change. So when you accept how you feel and support yourself and allow that emotion to pass through you, things will start naturally changing. And it won't feel like toxic positivity anymore. So you don't have to feel like trash and say, my life is perfect, it's so wonderful. You can tell yourself, right now things don't feel good, but that doesn't mean they're staying this way forever. Or if that feels too resistant for you, you can just tell yourself, whatever I'm feeling right now, I allow myself to release it, I allow it to pass through me. I call this the validate and shift method. You meet yourself where you're at, validate how you feel, And then when that emotion passes and you're feeling in a more stable state, you can start shifting the narrative around what's going on in your life. Trying to do that when you're feeling highly emotional is very counterproductive. And it's one of the reasons that a lot of people feel stuck if they're trying to change their circumstances or manifest a new life for themselves. And it's kind of normal when you're transitioning for your brain to fight you on this a little bit because it already has the resources to take care of things and... It's prepared for the worst case scenarios already. It knows how to handle them. So you don't have to gaslight yourself or tell yourself things are going great when they're not. Just honor how you feel in that moment. And as you start following your joy and also just releasing those emotions, naturally you're going to start to feel better and you'll see things change. Also make sure you show up differently for yourself. Show up in new ways as the version of yourself that you want to be in this life that you're creating for yourself. It can take some practice, but just like any other skill, the more you practice, the more natural it feels and it just becomes second nature.